All right, so we got this idiotic video that I've been seeing for a while now on different podcasts. And it's saying, would you rather be in a four-star room with a bear or a man? And the women are saying the bear. This complete donut goes on a yapping spree. And I'm going to just let y'all hear the question first. I'm going to let y'all hear the question. Would you rather come across a random man or a random bear in the woods? A bear. Okay, so bear, bear, bear. I'd like to hear the reasons why, starting with you. Um, okay, so first things first. Bears oh. act. Bears act strictly. <laughs> you said, "Oh fuck," because he already knew it was coming when she said first thing first. She's about to start yapping. Let's go. Let's get into it. Let me put this right here. Bears act strictly off of instinct. So usually, if they attack, they're probably threatened. Human beings, we have the ability to critically and logically think. We also tend to have a moral compass. So anything a human does is significantly worse. I am much more easily going to forgive a bear for mauling a human being than I will a man for hitting a woman. So, what? Like, okay, so my thing is with that, does she not know that bears, even if they're not threatened, like, it's like if there's a mama bear, right, and she's with her cubs, if you even walk in the vicinity of that, they will try to attack you just to protect their babies. Even if you're not trying to harm them or you're just minding your own business, they will attack you. A bear, what if you what if you walk past a bear that hasn't ate in a couple of days? What if you walk past that bear? It's not going to give a fuck. It's just going to come down there, maul you, eat every piece of limb you have while it watches you suffer while you're still alive. A bear doesn't clamp onto your neck like, you know, tigers and other types you know that type of species does but a bear will literally just sit on top of you with their paw on your chest like this and just eat you limb from limb so you, you really think a, a man is not the safest bet idiots bro so men are more dangerous idiot. because men are we more have dangerous a more than we bears. have a moral compass we know it's wrong but people still do it right but this is assuming that in both instances this is doing a comparing a comparison where the man attacks the woman and the bear attacks like the woman. Danger wise. This is assuming that I would, in all scenarios this woman is going to be attacked. Again, I would rather I would forgive the bear a lot easier than I would forgive what, the human. What does that have anything to do with making a risk assessment of which one is more likely to attack you? Cuz that is essentially what this question begs. I guess, I don't know, you're in the forest. Well, hold so on, let me get everybody's justification before I give my take. So, uh, why bear? I don't know, you're in the forest, and like, uh, okay, okay. people can behave. Is, is that's a setting, or am I wrong? So, I think... <laughs> I don't know. Yes, you are in the forest, Okay. but I'm confused. Whatever, what? I would, I'm assuming I wouldn't see a bear in my house or anything like that. Like, I don't know, like, if it's more secluded, then I would probably by the bear more I don't know does that I don't know no. well so well, if we're going to make considerations if we're making considerations for where we're going to see the bear who are the type of men you're generally going to see in the forest <laughs> dudes who are just going camping kind of like want to ignore society like they're kind of just chill exactly. guys doing bro stuff like if you're going to run across a guy in the forest it's probably going to be a dude that's kind of just a normal guy Exactly. Like nobody goes to the forest and says, "Oh, I hope I see a, a big group of people here tonight." You know, like unless there's like an event being thrown there, obviously. But no man just goes to the to the wilderness just to fucking see people or be social. They go there just to see the peace of nature. Maybe go there with their companion. You know, that's about it. But this is this this whole idiotic thing of girls saying that they'd rather choose a bear over a man in a setting that is the dumbest shit ever but it just shows how delusional they are because i'm not even gonna lie to you i wouldn't even touch this woman even if i did have cons you know what i mean like either way i like it's uh never mind. let me shut up so if we're gonna make those considerations for the bear we should make those considerations for the guys I, yeah, why, I really why the bear yeah. Yeah. Okay. for the past two months i already had my weird creepy <laughs> Not good things with men, and mm -hmm. I'd rather trust the bear right now um, over men. I wouldn't touch her either. What the fuck are we talking about, bro? 
Like these two would be, bro. They would be safe. <laughs> they would be the safest. Like I'm talking about, like in if in the in the midst of there actually being a predator out there, like a man, man. They would be. They would be the safest. I don't. Uh, this whole this is so stupid. Okay, so you had thank you, thank you. bad personal experiences in your own life. Yes. Ergo, all men are bad. Be in a forest alone with a bear versus a man. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All Brian, right. I've actually changed my opinion on Does this. That not What's your opinion? <laughs> okay. My opinion is I, I, I totally side with the bear now. Because what? I, I will tell you why. All right, let's hear A man, that, no, okay, so what he's about to say is either a man is going to have to come and save her or they're going to question why hasn't the man come and save them afterwards. You know, it, uh. okay. <laughs> the bear is satisfied with a good meal. Uh -huh. The woman gets to accurately play the victim. Mm -hmm. And the man has no, uh, there's no ill will on his side. Nothing happened. He's, he's not blamed for any of it. I'd rather be free. Everyone wins. Than... Everyone wins. Okay, so there's I. There's a flaw in your uh, logic. Okay. I'd rather be tell me, tell me. For Hang the on, I'll tell you the flaw. Okay. The flaw is, is that after all of the bitching, whining, and screaming from this woman who was mauled by a bear mm -hmm. due to her own stupidity, okay. some man's going to have to go out there Fair. and put the bear down. He didn't say it, but he did. Bear, you're right, Andrew. But the Again. bear already got me. So I just spent the last, like, four days <sighs> up in Keene Canyon in Sequoia. And, uh, yes, I was hiking out with bears. And I was at a river, and I went swimming, and there was a bear, like, 50 yards away. It was a mom with her cub. They left me alone. I left them alone. I went swimming in the river. I took a nap on a rock. I woke up, and they were gone. But when you see a man on a trail, you go, like... You completely ignore them and dodge them. Okay, so trail. hold on. Why? So let's just say you did that, right? That's such a lie. Did the man chase you down and then attack you? No, but you you tend to. Okay, but so you did. You to... took an action, like you took an action, but it doesn't mean that like nothing happened. Exactly, bro. Like that, you just proved that you just contradict. She just contradicted herself. Yeah, but, you ignored but, him like, like you did the bear. But the point is that you don't know what that person's thinking. Right. You don't know what that bear's thinking. You pass the bear in the woods, but the bear's more You don't know what the bear's thinking. No, you pass the bear in the woods. The bear is predictable because it acts off of instinct. Humans can sit there and they can pass you and then they can come behind you and like pop you in the head or whatever the fuck. Well, then let me uh, let me ask you a question just to be, because you can predict bear behavior <laughs> and you're obviously very skilled at the prediction of bear behavior. If you were to, do you think, walk up to 50 random men and pat them on the head or 50 random bears and pat them on the head? Which one do you think would be more likely to fucking maul you to death? The bear. That makes it predictable. Hold on. That's a completely Question different situation. It's not in its natural habitat. What do you mean? It's but still, well, uh, but no, it's you can still do it in their natural habitat. You walk right over and you just go and pat it on its fucking head. I'm well, going to yes. dodge both the bear and the man. The man's in his the natural habitat. My point habitat is that human beings are more dangerous head. than bears. Okay, so let's try this again. You didn't you, you would agree you would agree that men are in their natural habitat if you find one in a city or you find one in the country they're in their natural habitat and if you walked over and you were to pat <laughs> look at that donation she probably smelled bad enough for the bears to run away just random men on the head versus <laughs> random bears on the head which one do you think would be more likely to viciously attack you and kill you Probably the bear, but that's why you. Probably that's, the bear. That's why you don't be stupid, because you know. But also, what yeah, the bear yeah it would be pretty. She's being stupid right now. Stupid Doesn't to take a gamble like... with a bear. <laughs> exactly. You seem like you would be far more comfortable patting random men, touching random men without their permission. Seems to be well within your comfort level as opposed to touching random bears. Comfortability right? and predictability mm. is different, you don't though. Bother a bear the way you bother men. No, but, yeah, I get, I get what? where you're going what? with this, but it's more about like I think you're trying to say that that it, they're just more predictable. That's like, yes, I'm I, saying I wouldn't. She went into this completely saying guys are terrible, but then she's slowly transferring into the mm, maybe they're not that bad. Is the because it, because any animal head, acts off of instinct, it's easy to predict their next move. Human beings, you can't predict their next move. 
Not now, just men. Okay. I wouldn't even say that about just men, but <laughs> you're like, saying you can say it about women. Of a wild bear, really? No, yeah, that's. I mean, More I'm an outdoorsman to... as well. I, I'm a hunter. I spend a lot of time outdoors. I got to push back on this a little bit. So, so like, like bears, really, yeah, they can manipulate well, you into thinking that they might eat you and then they won't. Or bears like are that. very simple. Yeah, you're right. They are simple. It is either I'm going to kill you, I'm going to eliminate this new threat, or I'm going to go away. Going. Those are the only two options with a man there are a million options so, and so only a few of them are bad most of them are like hey i'm gonna say hi to you or i'm gonna ignore you that is, most most of them and you probably won't even see the guy that's absolutely fair and i agree with that that is facts yeah you speak of facts though sometimes i don't know some people don't know this fact but also if you walk up to a, i feel like if a bear is running up to you full speed if you just stand there just straight up don't flinch don't look scared don't act nothing most likely walk away from me depending on if they're hungry or not that's what i say you can't predict their you know their emotions what they're what they're going through none of that shit it's a fucking wild bear but you can take that chance if you want to you got more balls than i do i'm not doing that i'm not doing that that's so there are far the less negative outcomes with the man than there are the bear negative, but far less negative or are you gonna go for i know for sure more <laughs> what the bear is gonna okay. do the fuck you what did you just say hey, yeah i know for sure that the bear is either going to avoid me or murder me i'm not willing to take that chance i'm i'm much more likely to take the chance with the guy because there are more options Some than boy. ignore me or murder me Some most serial killers get away yeah. with you. i would take that gamble any and day torture you Fair Fair enough. Fair generally enough. speaking that's probably not going to happen no, but with a bear enough. it is one of two options it, and he just might be hungry. The bear, if it's hungry enough, it's like, hey, that thing's smaller than me. I'm going to kill it and eat it. I, I think these answers yeah, come yeah, from, from bears me Bears think that way. Like, it is, am I hungry? They, they don't have, have too many never, thoughts in I their head. I have never yeah. it's, ran are, across an aggressive bear, and I have been around a lot of bears from the Appalachia to up north oh, California. Oh, bullshit. I've been around a lot of bears by an ass. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, fucking right. What bears have you been around in the Appalachians? What bears? <laughs> what, what bears were you running into in the Appalachians? There are a lot of bears in Tennessee. What kind? They're black bears. How many? That's why black bears are not very vicious. Brown bears. Brown bears are the ones that you need to be worried about, honestly. If they're if they're black, they probably won't attack. If they're brown, they're gonna put you down. So yeah, uh, she obviously hasn't heard that saying. We're not talking about black bears in this situation talking about brown bears but even then black bears will also mess you up pretty badly many bears and what other kinds of bears are there how many bears have you come across yeah how many so bears literally how many dozens. bears have you have literally you literally I, I am in i am wild. in the woods a lot okay literally lot. literally <sighs> dozens like you cross paths yes i okay. literally have a selfie with me and a bear in the back could, could, okay look. and then how many men have you walked past <laughs> too many no. Millions. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It, wait, why do you like say it? Why many? do you say it like that? Too, hold on, hold on. Let her answer. Yes, why do you so. <laughs> oh, you're not anti-men. No, I no, I hate everybody equally. So. Okay, so how many men do you think you've just walked past without incidents? Millions. Quite a few. Maybe not millions. Hundreds of th thousands, tens of thousands throughout mm -hmm. your, the whole course of your life. Think of high school. Yeah, but a bear college, hasn't. A bear has never hurt me. At the mall, at the restaurant. Yes, perhaps I'm not doubting that a man or some men in your life have hurt you. That's probably where that answer really comes but from. But how many? Let me ask you a question. How many hours of your life have you been in proximity to men, as compared to proximity to bears? Like, would Quite you say? It's, would you say it's you've been in proximity to bears for less than an hour of your life? No, I would say more than an hour. It's probably on the You're order of magnitude with, of that. I mean, you said you said. I'd give it a roughly, uh, like guessing, strictly guessing, thirty-eight minutes. In to in total of her being around a bear. A couple dozen. So you're just kicking it with bears for like 30 minutes. You're just chilling. Sometimes you just sit there and you watch the bear and you're I'm, just like, if okay, cool. If we're shocking it down to just like a, a comparison to a bear, then obviously, yeah, like this, this is kind of like ridiculous. But the answers that are coming from like a bear being. She like she just woke the fuck up. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that. This is just, the rest of us just yapping. I'm pretty sure she's a pretty cool girl, but yeah.
The rest is just yapping. Y'all get the point. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you're a girl watching this and you still choose to bear, you're a very delusional. Get some help. Uh, yeah, we go. Peace.